Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to make a transition using the particle emitter in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. If you haven't seen my other DaVinci Resolve tutorials, be sure to check the links in the description or click on the little icon in the corner if it's there. That will take you to the playlist of tutorials. You can take a look and see which ones you want to watch. Okay, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. I'm on DaVinci Resolve 15 at this current time, but 16 is due very, very soon and I will hopefully be upgrading. I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to call it Particle Transition so I know what I'm making and I'm going to hit Create. This brings you to your workspace. Now I'm actually going to have my workspace in 1080 at 30 frames a second just for the purposes of this tutorial just so I don't have to render so much out. But you can do this at any resolution, it, it works for anything. And I'm then just going to bring in two clips into my media pool. One is a yacht and one is the Panama Canal in slow motion and I'm going to hit don't change and I'm then going to bring in the yachts and super yachts into the video one layer and Panama Canal on top of that and I'm going to mute my audio because I'm not going to be using it. Now you'll see if I play through this footage you can see the Panama Canal is on top and you cannot see the super yachts underneath at all. Um, so now we're going to do the particle system and turn it into a transition. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to come to the end of my footage here and I'm just going to cut the footage and select the last part which is where I want the particles to happen. I'm going to right click and I'm going to make it a new fusion clip just so I can edit more freely in fusion. Come over the middle of the clip and we're going to go into fusion. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to have media 1 in the left window and media out is not going to be in the second window because that's where we're going to work on the particles. So if you haven't seen any tutorials on Fusion before make sure you go on YouTube and have a look. There's loads out there. I will have more coming out soon but this is actually my first one. So make sure you go and check out those and you'll learn how the workspace works. But basically you have your viewers here, you have your timeline here and then you have your nodes here very much like color grading. So the first nodes I'm going to put in is I'm going to use shift space and I'm going to put in a merge node right in the middle of here and after that merge node I'm going to put in a delta key here. that's something we'll use later on. I'm then going to click off that, I'm going to put in a particle emitter, after that I'm going to put in some particle turbulence and then I'm going to put a particle render in which we will need later on and I'm just going to move those three over in line here. So the turbulence I'm just going to set the random seed up any number will do but you can fine tune that for yours and then I'm going to put the particle renderer on the second window here. I'm going to come to output mode and make it 2D. So that's the basics, that's how you set up ready to go. Then we're going to come to the emitter and make the particles how we want them to look. So I'm going to come into this fourth panel here and change it from sphere to rectangle and make the width 1 which gives it the full page. I'm also just going to drag the height up a little bit and then I'm going to set the Y offset down to the bottom of the page. It will actually be out of shot by the end of this tutorial, but for now we need to be able to see what it's doing. I'm then going to come to the third panel here and I'm going to change the style from point to Engon and I'm going to select this far right one, the circle, and make it seven. I do that just because I can. Uh, with a circle you shouldn't matter how many sides you have. Then I'm going to come to size control and I'm going to make these a uh, six. That gives me some big balls there. Excuse the pun. And then I'm going to go into the color control and make them red. Now, normally I would make these green or blue so that they were like green screen or blue screen blue. But if you look at my footage on the left hand side, there's a lot of blue and green in there and there's not a lot of red. So we're going to have that as red for now. I'm then going to come to the emitter and I'm going to set my number to 4. I know this is the right amount for me, this is why I'm doing it, you can test out. I'm also just going to drag the number variance up and make the lifespan 50. Now these are just settings that I've used in the past and they've worked well for me so if you want to try out different numbers and see how yours come out that's perfectly fine. I'm then going to come down to velocity and I'm going to set the velocity to 6, oh not 6D, 6.0 and I'm going to vary the velocity and I'm going to make the angle 90. And if we drag back, we can just check that through. And something's wrong. So I'm going to drag the velocity down and make it 1, 
just to check that out come back to zero and check what happens when I press play so you see them shooting up there they're quite fast but that's fine and you'll notice now that the particles are above the scene before it's even started playing so I'm going to come back to the position I'm going to offset that till they're not there anymore hit play and check that through perfect I'm then going to come to 30 frames because by the end of this transition I want them to have covered the complete screen and I'm going to come back to my emitter and a keyframe my four particles go 10 frames in the future so 40 and crank that to 100 which fills the screen up check that through and see what happens get slow but that's fine and I'm actually going to change these keyframes I'm going to take it back to 20 keyframe 4 and at 40 I still want I want more than 100 so I'm actually going to make this uh, 200 so that it fully fills the screen before it disappears like that so you're probably wondering now well that's not a transition wire that's just a load of red particles moving up well here's the next part we come down to particle renderer and after that we're going to add in another delta keyer and then we're going to attach that using the output to the merge node so if we now look at media out in the second viewer you'll see that nothing has really changed so then we're going to come into this reference here in the first delta keyer and we're going to choose reference and we're going to select the black so as you can see before I do that there's a whole black panel right here so it's black with red dots when you play it that's all you get so we're going to key out the black initially with the first delta keyer and then using the second delta keyer we're going to select background color and key out the red so now when you look through this you'll actually see that you can see the footage before and the footage afterwards will be underneath and you see the particles are now see-through so I'm just going to hit save as long as you do these two keys in the correct order you can keep doing this I'm going to jump back to my timeline quickly and just take a look so as you can see if I play through you can see through the particles to the footage below and as they get more and more and more it'll eventually transition into the footage that is after it so before we do anything else I'm going to jump back into my fusion panel because I might want to use this later on and I move my media in up so it's not in the way and I'm just going to select the nodes in the middle here right click and hit settings and save as then what you can do is you can save that as a setting folder so I've got one here already called particle transition so you hit save and then any media that you pull in as long as it's the top media on your media one you can click and drag that file into this area here connect up the media in and the media out and as long as your next footage is right underneath that you'll see that the particles become that footage so this is what it looks like and I think there we've achieved quite a nice particle transition. Now the nice thing about this transition is you can make the particles any shapes within the particle emitter. So if your scene here didn't have much blue or green, I would suggest making your particles into a green screen green or blue screen blue rather than a red. But if you do that, sometimes it will interfere with the footage in the background if you try and key that out, which is why I've picked red for this scene because there isn't really any red in this footage apart from that boat's top which you can barely see in the final output but if you come to your particle emitter now you can come back into your third panel and you could change your end gone to any kind of shape or style that you like let's say you wanted a five-sided star you could do that and the particles will then be stars you can create these other different looks and you can also do it with any other section here even if you use a bitmap you can create custom shapes yourself using the the bezier splines or the masks so once you've done that that's your particle done you can then set that out export it and that transition will be there for you to use in the future i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please make sure you hit the like button on the video subscribe to the channel most people who watch my videos aren't subscribed and it really does help out when you do thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next video